in Durham, where the County Board of Elections just held a hearing on a request to recount more than 90,000 votes following the election. The governor's race, which has Democrat Roy Cooper leading Republican incumbent Pat McCrory by a little less than 5,000 votes, is front and center in all of this. CBS North Carolina political reporter Bo Menick joins us live from the Durham County Board of Elections with an update on what all happened today. Good afternoon, Bo. Good afternoon, Russ. In a two to one vote along party lines, the Durham Board of Elections did vote that there is probable cause to move forward with a second hearing on this matter, and that will be held on Friday morning. Now, this recount petition was filed by Tom Stark. Stark did so as a registered voter in Durham, but he's also the attorney for the state Republican Party. He referred today to six electronic memory cards that contain ballot data that the county was unable to read. Instead, what happened here is that the county manually entered the votes from a tape log off of the machine, and Stark questions how they know those tape logs weren't corrupted as well. My reasoning was if you have a question, you double check. Do you I mean, this is an election. It's an important election. We want to know what the real total is. I think everybody does. Governor McCrory got to pick who leads the elections in each county, and he picked two Republicans and a Democrat for Durham. And so, you know, it's his own party that's making decisions about voting in Durham. This is a community that has a large population of African American voters, and uh, it doesn't seem fair to a lot of us that our votes have to be counted twice in some some cases. The McCrory campaign is also questioning hundreds of absentee ballots from Bladen County. Now, here in Durham, again, the next step is another hearing on Friday morning. That's also the same day that counties from across the state will report their overall results to the state. And once that's done at that point, then we'll see if Governor McCrory requests a recount. Live in Durham, Bo Minnick, CBS, North Carolina. Meanwhile, dozens of protesters gathered outside of the Durham County Board of Elections office this morning. And during that meeting, there was no room for public comment during this morning's meeting, though. We're here to let them know that Durham is watching. Um, I hope this is just a desperate attempt and that it will end today or by Friday. But I also fear this could be a first step to I don't know what. The group of protesters say they plan to be back out again on Friday.